Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to see consonants. I am Dr. Vinmayil, Assistant Professor of English, Baby Vanya Permal College for Women, Virudhunagar. In the last videos, we learned that we need some air to articulate speech sounds. We use the expiratory lung air to articulate all the speech sounds of English language. The air that we breathe out is modified into speech sounds by the action of few organs in our human body. As students of English literature, we should know why do we classify speech sounds and how they are described. Now just try to articulate the sounds A and U in the words home and food. Now try to stretch the sound or prolongate the sound A, A, U, U. Now in the word deep, the beginning sound da. In the word man, the first sound is ma. Now try to prolongate the first sounds of da and ma. You could easily realize that you can't prolongate the sounds da and ma. Thus we understood that the first two belong to one category of speech sounds and the next two belong to another category. So the first two sounds are vowels and the next two sounds are consonants. Let us now define what is a vowel and what is a consonant. When we articulate vowel sounds, the air from the lungs escapes freely, continuously through the mouth. The entire oral passage is wide without any narrowing anywhere. It is able to escape continuously because there is no closure anywhere along the oral passage. But when we articulate a consonant sound, the air may not escape freely but with some difficulty because somewhere in the oral passage there is a narrow space and when the air reaches this part, it escapes with difficulty producing a lot of friction. Sometimes the air may be totally blocked in the oral passage and so the air may escape only through the nose. So the sound ma and da are called consonants. Let us now define consonants. The speech sounds during the articulation of which the air from the lung does not escape freely or continuously or through the mouth is called consonant. Now let us describe consonants. The consonants are described based on six criteria. These six factors are necessary to be dealt with in order to understand the sub-classification of consonants. The first one is airstream mechanism. Next one is state of the glottis. Thirdly, the position of the soft palate. Then, active and passive articulators. Lastly, we have the structure involved. 
What is airstream mechanism? By the expression airstream, we mean a moving of current of air. For articulation of speech sounds, we need an airstream. When we articulate any speech sound from English, the air from our lungs goes out into the atmosphere either through our mouth or through our nostrils. The way in which an airstream works is called an airstream mechanism. The airstream mechanism that uses the air from the lungs is called pulmonic airstream. The airstream that goes out is called aggressive airstream. So, to articulate all the speech sounds in English, we use a pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism. Since only the pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism is used for the articulation of all the speech sounds that occur in English, the other astri mechanisms are need not to be discussed here. The state of the glottis. We know from our study of speech mechanism that the glottis is the space between two vocal cords when they are drawn far away from each other. By the expression the state of the glottis, we mean the different positions the vocal cords take when we speak. Speech sounds are divided into two kinds, voiceless and voiced, according to different states of glottis. When the vocal cords are far away from each other, and therefore the glottis is wide open. We articulate voiceless sounds. When the vocal cords are closely brought together and club kept loosely together, they vibrate and we articulate voiced sounds. Next, we have the position of the soft palate. The soft palate or vallum can be moved up or moved down. That is, it can be raised or lowered. When it is moved up, it touches the back wall of the pharynx. When it is moved down, it comes away from the back wall of the pharynx. So, when it is moved up, the air from the lungs cannot enter the nasal cavity. When it is moved down, it the lung air can enter the nas nasal cavity and so easily escape through the nostrils. So, when the soft palate is moved up or raised, it touches back wall of the pharynx and there is the closure of nasal cavity and the air escapes freely through the mouth and articulates the sound called oral sounds. When the velum is moved down or lowered, they are away from the wall of the pharynx. There is a opening of nasal cavity. The air can only escape through the nasal cavity. So, there is an articulation of nasal sound. All the 20 vowels and 21 out of 24 consonants are oral sounds. 
there are only three nasal sounds namely ma na and ing thank you meet you all in the next video